Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to go on a little early goose hunt. We've got all the decoys loaded up in this little wagon. We're going to see about getting out there and trying to lay, get in those layout blinds and see what's going on this morning. Uh, Sean and Simon from over at SSM Outdoors have been out scouting. Uh, they said they've seen some geese in that area. Uh, they're working right on the river, so we're going to get down there and try and see what's going on, see if we can get into some this morning. Just stick with us and see what we can do. Well, we made it out here. We just got set up. Um, yeah, we're tucked in here. Trying to see if you can see. We're tucked in in this little grass right in the middle. We've got the spread out here. Probably can't see it. About three and a half dozen, give or take. But uh, it is shooting light. And we are going to attempt to uh, lay in here. Mosquitoes are getting pretty rough, but that's what you get with early season. Um, we're gonna lay in here and see if they'll work in. But, you know, if they don't, at least we got to get out here this morning and enjoy the beautiful sunrise. All right, boys, we uh, got in here this morning and that's, uh, it's about 6.17, been shooting light for about eight minutes. He worked right in, landed on the side of the decoys and uh, I put him down one shot to the temple and he was out. So uh, stay tuned, there's more coming. Yep, Simon's chasing down a cripple. Sean's going to help him out. A dude just jumped up like he was asleep. He's up now. So let's see if we can get him. That'll make six. They're a lot further down than you guys would think. Pretty far. And there's the decoy spread. Old game warden's about to come talk to us. So we'll talk to him and get back to you. I'm like 99% sure they're bringing back a big and <laughs> it took him two shots after he shot him as a cripple. But I think Sean finally got him. So that brings the total to six and Mr. Green Jeans didn't come and join us this morning. But it's just, I mean, I really wish he would have checked our licenses because we do indeed have them. We wouldn't hunt without them. So, yeah, here we are. It's a beautiful day. It's cool. Mosquitoes quit, quit coming out, so that was awesome. We are going to probably pack it up here in a little bit. It seems like that early flight is done, but man, if we can come back in the morning, that'll be another another shooter. Uh, Michael joined us. He was, able, he was not able to come today because he had to work, sadly. But, you know, that second shift life, I can do whatever I want to do. <laughs> But, yeah, that's their spread. They've been working perfect with it. It's got a little U. We could have blocked off that end down here a little bit better. One right there. Blocked it straight back to the grass. But, you know, it worked. They all lit right where we wanted them to. It's just been a very successful goose hunt. And that's where we're hiding in this little grass. And we got layout, the layout blinds Michael showed you. They all went in perfect. We just tucked them in, brushed them. Uh, we have picked up all our shells. And... We are going to start packing up here in a little bit. So when you get out uh, in public land, of course, some people don't really give a crap. So they leave their spent shells on the ground, which if they're not the biodegradable ones that uh, go back into the dirt and become flowers or whatever, you know, I, don't, I really don't like people dropping them and leaving them. Cause then that's whenever public land gets taken from us and bought out and we can't ever hunt it again so do your part and i've got these i picked up you saw me pick them all up off the ground and i don't even have any more shells this color so these are from dove hunting but yeah i'm just gonna pick them up if we see any more i've got a couple more i found but you know we're shooting steel high brass for geese so but overall, we've ended the day pretty much to a piece. I didn't get any footage of the shooting because it was just non-stop from shooting light. About six minutes, I killed the first one. And then now, you know, we've got six. So we're just going to split them to a piece. No, nobody's going to care how many, who shot who. Uh, we've got one person to thank. It's the good Lord. So without him, none of this would exist. So we're really happy. So this will be our first goose hunt that was successful. We've been on hundreds and we've, we've seen birds. We consider ourselves professional bird watchers for the most part. But this time, it all worked out. What's up, Bubba Foe? 
we in here in the kitchen uh, cutting up some gooses that Ben killed. Making a mess on your Making camera. a mess. But, yeah, uh, uh, we had success. Uh, as you'll see in the video, the six that we killed, uh, there's no way we could have cooked all of them tonight. We're just going to do a little small something, cook and eat some of these. Um, we're going to make some poppers. Yeah, we got poppers ready. That's what these in here, poppers, yeah, poppers. and we're gonna try to do these breasts whole. We'll do just some taking steaks. some silver skin off. We got hamburgers, bacon, cream cheese, sweet peppers, jalapenos. We're gonna try to do it up good. So, Ben, Are you excited? I'm excited. Glad we actually got something to be putting on the grill this time. Yeah, so. We're gonna get this cut up, seasoned up. I'm gonna throw them on the grill here in about 30 minutes. So. All right, Bubba Fo, let me tell you something about cooking some burgers. What you want to do is right in the center, put your good thumb dimple, not all the way through, but just enough that the meat cooks evenly and all the way around. It really works, I promise. I'm not joking with you. Country Bob seasoning salt on it, garlic and herb seasoning, and you know it, we gotta have it. The Tony, what do you say? How do you say that? Checkers? I say, Cheshire. uh, Cheshire. I say Zachary's. Tony Zachary's. Tony Zachary's. Okay, we'll call it Tony Zachary's, but it's Creole for you. That was real. That's been with us from the beginning. Big XL, boys. Those 
y'all don't know what Omega X is. It's an anti-inflammatory drug. It's not made advertisement. Anti-inflammatory drug that, uh, you know, helps get you lubricated. It's like ibuprofen, no side effects. And it comes from the pristine waters of New Zealand. This is uh, just cooking with burgers. Because I got so much grease in it. That's what's burned with the grease. I'm going to let them fire roast for a minute. No. Now let's get these. Yeah, I remember how We're gonna cook some hot dogs for the little ones. Ready? Yeah. And we're gonna cook quick. Juicy jumbos. It's already got real marks on it. And I just put it on there. How many do you want? Hey, there's only two left in the pack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like eating the messy mites, you know. You like them or you like the uh, dirty doms? I don't know what I like. I like a good hot dog. I like beanies. I like potted meat. I like tuna. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna eat it. He's a, a meat guy. He's on the keto, you know. They can't they can't eat any breads. But let's get him over here and see what he's doing. Look at all them wieners on there going. Yeah. Boy, that's mine right there. Let me show him what that one was. Y'all can y'all can tell which one he's talking about. Uh oh. I just did a little pan shot with the with the tripod. I think you think it's pretty cool. I swiveled it where it wouldn't shake the camera. Dropped it down while it was doing it. I'm really surprised that cream cheese isn't running. It will. <laughs> it's trying to heat up some beer. Yeah, it's just like well, bacon's crispy on the outside, or it's turned cold. All right, about to pull these burgers off. Burgers? They done. D O W N. Dumb. D U N N. It's a done deal. Will you start opening these? No. Got the old cheese, sliced cheese. <laughs> I ain't opening nothing. Yeah. Uh huh. Let me swap it on. Slap it on them first. They just find to be cheese over together. That's fine. Everybody likes cheese though. Everybody likes cheese. That one's ready. Cheese it up. They just need a just a like your cheese, G. That's ready. What's that temp again? 160. 
160. So if y'all there are looking for the perfect temperature on a burger, 160 and dripping. Captain's ready. What was that temperature? On, 160. All right, boys, we're getting the cheese on there. Cheese on there. We're gonna let that melt for a second. Just a few mementos. Pull them off. Let cheese get soft. Yeah, separate them out a little bit. As you guys can see, we love eating together. That's the best part of fellowship. You get to eat. Up, up, up! Is he gonna save it? You lost the cheese. Lost Flip the it back cheese. on. Flip it on that next one. I got it. Look there it. you go. I missed it. He got it. He got it. Mm. That was my burger, anyways. We he already tried joke on him. But yeah, we like eating together. Uh, we enjoy the fellowship. So here in a little bit, we'll uh, we'll get into some meat of a different kind. So. What do you got to say to the audience, Cooper? I don't know what that. You can go over there. All right. Well, tell them. What's up, Fobo Fo? I don't know who he is. All right. All right, Coop. What's the cheese on? I'm going to go with the ghost press. I'm going to crack this meat up too. Mm -hmm. Alright, star, star of the show today. Goose breast. Goosey. So, yeah. These are one of the six. As you can tell, we got the poppers here. And then we also have a whole breast we're gonna try and do like a steak. See how it turns out. Yeah. Got the silver got the silver skin off. Look here, listen to this. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I don't know if you guys have eaten geese, but this will be our first time because we don't normally get to shoot at them like all the big guys out there, you know. But they sure do look good. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so this will be a first reaction to goose. Got a little piece right here, grilled up specially so we could just eat it. How is it? Okay. Is it good? No gaming. It's a gaming. It's a no gang? No gaming. It's a... But? That's money, dude. That's money, dude. All right. Michael's going to try it. Let's see what we got. We got him a little piece cooled off. We'll try it. Got Ooh. me a little love right there. Seasoned up. You can still say a piece of that seasoning on there. How is it? it it's kind of, it's different. It's got that. You know what it tastes like to me? What? Like a steak. Really? That's like good to me. Yeah. Which, to be fair, I had COVID-19 in January. So, my taste and smell, I'm at about 35%. This is mm -hmm. what, September? Yeah. 
So I don't see it getting much better, to be honest. But that right there is good, man. Yeah. Get maybe, maybe on the very back half, just a touch of game. You know, yeah. it didn't come from the, the supermarket. Yeah. It came from the wild. I don't bother me at all. Oh yeah. We worked for it. We went out there. We put in the work, and we we are you know enjoying the yeah, we're here right of our now, So we're not just gonna shoot and then you know go for bands and then throw them in a the ditch later on. You know, we're gonna actually eat and enjoy it. I thought it was good, man. Yeah. So well worth it. I'd rate it up there, man. Mallard, Mallard's right there, man. It's 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 on that line. It's, a, it's a, just a, a fine line there. So, well, yeah. Like here's the thing for me. I mean, you can't beat killing with us. Yeah. Oh, not, nobody. Sure. Not, nothing. Can that, beat like you said, that was top of top of the line. Killing with duck. Killing with duck. You can't beat it. Uh, mallards. Pintails. I don't big know. Ducks. Big, big ducks. Yeah. Big ducks. They're okay. I mean, you got to prepare them right. That's all it is. I like the taste of them, and I and I eat them. I eat them all day long. But you got to know what you're doing to cook them and prepare them. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, so we I think we got the recipe now. We soaked them for two days. Normally, I, I do mine anywhere from eight hours to 24 hours. I've never done past that, but I figured I'd try it this time. It's something new. Um, I figured, you know, I, I'm a big waterfowl hunter, and I normally soak them. And this time, I just figured I've already got half of them done one way. It's a new species for me, so... Why not just soak them a little bit longer and see how they turned out? So these actually, just that piece, fantastic. Like yeah, I was saying earlier. I, just, to be honest, the, the way you, when you clean these geese and the way you you soak them and fry them, and they're really good. I mean, top oh, yeah. They're, I Absolutely. can't taste the difference in this from a, a ribeye steak. Yeah. So last, last year, uh, I, man, my wife is not a big, she's from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Um, you know, out west, she's from that that area. Uh, she's more into the big game, like elk and you know, mule deer stuff like whatever. Anything on the prairie, she would eat. Uh, her dad was a big hunter, and she moved here, and that's her limit. So, you know, I, I'm a big waterfowl enthusiast, so I, I hunted ducks whenever before I met her. Me and Michael have been hunting since we've been hunting ducks since 2000. 14? Right. Probably 13. 14. In, in, 13 yeah, 14. yeah, into 13, 14, 14 season. Um, and we hunted together. We started doing this, and, you know, we started out one really good hunt, and then, you know, now here we are, six six geese in a day. I mean, that was wild. But anyways, my the wife. Thing, the thing with us, and I'll be honest about it, we don't have the best seasons. We don't have the best luck. But what we have is a drive to go out there and do it. Yeah. So if we kill one duck, if we kill 10 ducks, we enjoy mm -hmm. the sport of, of waterfowl hunting. Yeah, for sure. But it tastes just like steak for sure. So well, what we were talking about, you know, whenever I cooked scrap ducks last year, my wife didn't, she thought it was steak. So, um, so it's all about the way you prepare it, I guess. Anything that tastes good if you season it enough, right? <whistles> Let's get a little close up on those. If y'all can't see that, that is absolutely fantastic. Look at that precision. Never seen anybody being able to run a straight line. Look at that. That's a straight line all the way across those grates. We need some brown sugar. Yeah, we're gonna get some brown sugar, you know. It's already, what, maple hickory, where the bacon is, so we're gonna do some brown sugar right on top. All right, you got the old brown sugar. Mm. Oh yeah, y'all. Uh, I just thought this may be a good idea. So, South Bay. Woo! 
throw it up in the bag. Yeah. Woo. Just, you know, a little bit. Oh, man, that was one of my caramel on there. Deal. Come pop me. Come on. That brown sugar. That was my boat. Double decker. I'm going to eat it. All right, save a little bit more. Flip them. Uh, there's a, a little bit in there. Flip it. Flip them. Yeah, flip them. They're getting warm. They're getting moist. Yeah, I think I used way too much. I got a little burn on me. Did you? Yeah, I had some that pop up whenever it got hot. Popped up on my finger oh, right where I had a cut. The pepper. Ah, good. Woo. So I had some grease in it right there. Yeah, from the bacon. Yeah. Oh, from yeah. The bacon. I thought it was from the goose. I was thinking, man, that goose is greasy. Hey, greasy. That one's. I think we can go ahead and start pulling them off. What do you think? Is that it? Yeah. All right, let's flip them real quick. And then uh, throw that brown sugar on it, close it for 30 seconds, and pull them off. All right. That one is about to be really done. <laughs> it's brack. It's brack. Brack and creepy. All right, throw the brown sugar. <clears throat> bye, bye, bye. Bum, 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 me too. But note itself, goose is fantastic. But Tastes like steak. Yeah, right. Like steak. Fine steak. Well, that's it for us. We enjoyed it tonight. Enjoyed the fellowship and the brotherhood we had and sisterhood with our wives. So uh, that's it. Y'all like her in Fobofo. Fo.